Hey guys, so this is just Raven Starlight. I'm just going to be doing a quick update on why I have not yet posted my next gameplay for my game, Uncharted 4 The Send. And I will be doing a bookshelf tour. Um, so, first off, I'll explain why I haven't done my gameplay yet. As you can see, my TV is just behind me, but if I turn you, set you up a bit, my PlayStation is over there as well, so, then, as you can see, it's just, I don't let myself hands, it's just over the other end of that case, right there. Um, I'm currently having difficulties getting on in my Azkadelia21 username. That is because PlayStation has blocked me from getting on it. Um, they have banned me from getting on it. Um, and I will explain that in another update. Um, sometime during the week or something I'm hoping to get one done to be honest um but yeah uh, where is my person? hold on guys so I will just be doing a bookshelf tour today I also a cat tour if you're wondering what I'm putting on it's just my duckery flower perfume from the book box is not sponsored it is actually homemade I think I remember that being homemade and yes handmade perfume um but anyway on with the tour okay so the first thing you see when we come to my top shelf um is my snow globe I got this at the beginning of Christmas last year. I'm obsessed with snow globes um, and I love this one. I am tr planning to try and get a music one um, so I just pop her down, them down there. Next we have my I'm a Brave Tiger sharpener. Um, I use this for like say sharpening my pencils um, and obviously my, obviously, because it's a charmer. <laughs> now, we do have a couple of beads by here. These are my frozen two bracelet beads. Um, as you can see, my bracelet is right here. It, I opened it to put it on and all my beads fell off, so I just took them all off and placed them right here on the top shelf. And then we have my little toki pee. <laughs> Sorry about that. My little toki pee. Um, as you can see, I do have a cat in the corner right here. <laughs> She's been a little nosy madam. So yeah, I ordered a toki pee a while ago. Worry thing is, um, she doesn't work. So, I've got that. Then above my books here, I have a lot, and I do mean a lot, of book markers. I'm currently trying to find a place to put them. So I'll just shove them in there just now. Just make sure that's clear. Yes. Okay, so, the first book we have on this shelf is Light Between Worlds by Laura Weymouth and this is a like a Narnia retelling and I do love it um <laughs> yes Fluffy I do love the book Fluffy look at the camera Fluffy you can move <laughs> she's very shy when she wants to eat <laughs> next book we have only the Ocean by Natasha Catra. I'm sorry if I actually butchered that last name. 
I have yet to read this, but I want to. Um, next we have The Splinter Silence by Carla Olsen. Now, this does look like a good book, but again, I have yet to read it. Monsters by Sharon Dogger. Um, basically a retelling of the author who originally wrote Frankenstein or something. Um, a passion and loss that created Frankenstein. Yeah, basically. Then we have Shadow Scent. Now this is the book I got my perfume with from the book box. So Darkest Bloom, which is the perfume. Um, I loved this book. Um, there is a few pictures of this one on my Instagram. Now I will say all these books on this shelf and the next shelf are from my book box. So there will be a lot of um, books by there. I'll just move them to over here and keep that out of her way. Next we have Stone Time. I did try and read this one. I don't even know if this is in focus. Um, this is by Danielle Rowlings. Um, I couldn't get into it. Um, but I think a lot of people from the book box couldn't get into it. But I'm planning to try and read most of these. Because I have yet to read them. Then we have The Hand, The Eye and The Heart. Now I will say this is more of a Mulan retelling, so I'm going to try and read this, not for the Mulan movie coming out or that, just so I know what it's like. Now the next book I practically love, I'm going to turn this back around. Um, I mean, and I practically love, I'm just going to do it this way so he's not bobbing him down. <laughs> anyway, um, next we have my favourite book of all. This is Roma, Romanoff by Nadine Brands. Um, basically what it means, it, the title's in the name, Romanoff, is by Anastasia. Um, it is a historic and fantasy at the end with magic um, and I do love this one, I really do. I finished it in like three days so I'm pretty excited about that one. Next we have two because I got two in my next box. The Perfect Preventable Death by Darid Sullivan. And then we have a Tanglewood and Brown, Brown, I can't even pronounce these, again by the same author of this one. Um, these are like more of storytelling books. Um, yes, this is like a retelling of Cinderella. They were Curtis Bride, so probably a retelling of um, Red Riding Hood. I'm not too sure. Um, I'm trying to find another one. Come love and be loved. Come and love. Come live and be loved. Um, again, I'm not too sure what this means. Um, I've yet to read any of these. Um. But I'm thinking these are mostly fairy tale retellings. Um, I'm just quickly going through these. Oh. But I will say this I do love the illustration on them. But yeah.
retellings of that. Um, I'm currently going, I want you to try and read this one as well. I've got a lot of books from my book books that I really want to read or start to read. Um, then we have another two books. Um, this one is by Laura Woods, Under a Dancing Star. I think I did start reading this, but I'm not too sure. Um, let me see. Yeah, I did start reading this one. It sounded okay, and it does look like a good book, but honestly, I couldn't get into it. I had another book coming. I really was busy at the time. Um, but yeah. <laughs> you want to be in your chest? She really does not like videos. Go ahead. Go on. Go on. And then we have Heartstream. Now, I did see a lot of feedback on this one. A lot of people liked it from the book box. Um, but again, not my kind of book. I do want you to start try to read it though. But yeah. And then we have... The Beckoning Shadow. I did start reading this. In fact, I'm still maybe currently reading it. I just need to remove that. Um, and this one is by Catherine Blur. I am so sorry that I didn't say that straight away. And the last book that I showed you was by Tom Pollock. Um, now, I will turn his back around and show you what's on my next shelf. So, my next shelf is, like say, my Pokemon, Pokeballs, my tea strainer, um, the, yeah, this is my favourite Pokeball, it's the Pokedex one, um, it does work, as you can see. Just put the sound on a minute. It goes to game two, but yeah. That's on. And she's trying to get in her box, which is up there in the Avon one. Right there. Fluffy! If I pull that flap down, you'll see her. But she likes to sit in there. So I will put my Pokeball down there. So I'm going to put you back facing me um, and just do what I did on this shelf, pull the books off, show you. Um, I can't exactly do it as if I'm behind the camera because I have to hold my, my phone because this is what I'm recording on. So the next book is A Thousand Doors of January. Now I did start reading this and I was I actually almost finished it, as you can see, but again, I'm just going to leave that on that one, because I probably will go back to it. Um, again, it's been a while since I read it. I wanted to start reading it, and it's by Alex E. Harrow, just there, um, and I did enjoy it. I really did. Um... In fact, some of the ideas that's in that I got from my story of my own, um, but that's for another time. Now, the next book is The Good Girls, Good Luck Girls by Charlie Nicole Davis, Charlotte Nicole Davis. Now, I wanted to start reading this, so I found my bookmarker that I was using. I found my other bookmarker. I'll just take him. <laughs> I actually thought I had lost my little Jack Sparrow. Um, I actually saw I was maybe start reading this, but I never did. Oh, let's pop you to the side. Next we have Deep Life by Francis 
Harden. No, I want to start reading this because this is an ocean one um, and I love the book Wicked Deep when I got out of the library. I loved a boat one. I loved everything about the ocean. I really do. Um, but again, I couldn't get into it. I have yet to start it. Um, next is Dangerous Alliances. Um, this is a Jane Austen romance kind of thing. Um, this is by Jenikin Cohon. I can't even pronounce her name. So again, I started reading it. I'm actually going to take that out. The cover without the cover cover is gorgeous and um, sorry. Um, but like I said, I started this, couldn't finish it, it wasn't my cup of tea. Just go back on the shelf. Now the next one I didn't quite read want to read. Um no, this is more of an arc. Um, kind of book. I, I think it was two arcs I got. No, it was this one arc. Right. <laughs> so the arc that I got from my big box was Burning Bright. Um, it's actually And the Stars Are Burning Bright by Danielle Johanna. No. I'm so sorry if I butchered that literally. Um, but yeah, as I said, it's and the stars are burning bright. Um, I thought the story sounded okay. I wanted to start reading it. Um, basically, when 15-year-old Nathan discovers that his older brother Al has taken his own life, his whole world falls apart. Al was talented, Al was ambitious, Al was going places. So why did he do it? And it's an utter page turner from a storm new talent, passionate and committed and shines a ray of light into the darkness place darkest places. The YA novel of twenty twenty Melvin Briggs The D B YA from incredible talented Daniel Jordan um, basically, it is based on a true story, I think, um, if I remember correctly. Um, yes, basically, he's telling uh, about himself there. And uh, I do want to read this because there is a lot of death in the world. Um, but yeah, I'll leave that up there. The next one I got that same month in the same book box, I got pins and needles, is the Good Hawk. Now, this is a Shadow Sky book. Now, I want to try and get the setting one of this. I don't know if it's out. Um, it's based in Scotland, so I really want to read it. Um, is by Joseph Elliott. Again, um, I will only read the back for you. If everything was taken from you, what would you do to get it back? Agatha patrols the sea wall with pride, despite those in her clan who question her right to there, um, her right to be there, because of the condition she was born with. Jamie is a reluctant angler, full of self-doubt and afraid of the sea. When disaster strikes, the pair must embark on a terrifying journey to a land where forgotten magic and dark secrets lurk in every shadow. A brave new voice in fantasy fiction, Sally Green, author of Half Blood. Now, I really do want to read this. It looks so good, but again, it's not really caught my interest. I will say that about a few books of mine, um, but that one I do want to try and read. Now the next one is The Pure Heart. 
um, I actually I got this one with my Good Hawk book. So this one is another um, arc I think. I'm not too sure. But yes, um, I really did want to start reading this one. Um, basically I did start it. As you can see, I got up to chapter 5 on it. Um, but again, I stopped reading so I'm going to take that bit marker out. <laughs> so, it's no longer got the bit marker in it. What are you doing? Anyone want a cat? <laughs> Name a booby. Um, but yes. So, I will be trying to read this one. I've got loads more to show you. Um, I currently have books on top of my bookshelf to show you as well. Um, now the next one is actually one that surprised me. Now this one is on Wattpad and I have got a Wattpad so I could read it on there or I could read it in the book form. Now this is from Alex Light and again she is on or he is on Wattpad as it says there and it's the Upside of Falling. I did want to start reading this. It won't take me long to finish it. Um, 21 chapters basically um why can I just stick to reading romance books why did my life turn why did my life had to become one luckily luckily my romance novels this was all fake and this was no danger in that it was kind of like getting the best of both worlds a relationship without the risk of heartbreak and basically they're pretty right <laughs> Um, again, that's the reason when I, why I want to read it. Now, this one is the one I recently got from my book box. And that is Hold Back the Tide by Melinda Salesberg. Now, this one came with my little nasty teen strainer. Yes, it is a Loch Ness Monster. Um, or a miniature version of her. Um, so that's why I really want to read this one. Now, I will continue to show you books on this one, or the knickknacks I've got. Um, but yes. And she has other books out, apparently. I have not noticed that before. Um, doesn't really say in the book, but yeah. So, the next thing that you'd probably want to know, what's in the Pokeball? Well, in this Pokeball are just my Pokemon cards. And my little coin. Um, yes, I do collect the Pokemon cards. Some of these I got from the McDonald's. Toys from Pokemon. That one I actually found. No, that one I did get. This one here, I found. So, I kept a hold of her. Um, Meowth. Now, this Meowth is actually because I got the Teddy Meowth out of Build the Bear. Yes, I may be 23, but I love my Build the Bears. As you can see, I have Pikachu up here. By th oh, by there. Um, and I prob you probably will see a couple on my bed soon. So I have Meowth. Now I don't have the Teddy from Mew Mew Mewtwo, but I do like his card. So he goes in between them. So I've got Pikachu and Eevee as well. I really want to get my squirrel and probably a Charmander. Um, I'm not going to show you all the cards, but 
those were those are my main ones that I like to have at the front of my cards. Um, and yeah, so I've got all of them, and they just sit right in here with their little coin of the Pokemon legendary Pokemon from Sun and Moon. I think it is. I'm not too sure on that. Um, if you anyone knows, let me know in the comments. So that just sits right next to my books, holding them up. Again, I've got pins and needles. Now I will show you the books that I'm trying to read. I'm currently waiting to read Heaven Falls, Sarah Holland. Um, I do want to read that so bad right now. But I'm currently reading Crescent City, Eyes of Blood and Bone, um, Earth and Blood, sorry. I am currently halfway through. I'm 30% 30, 30, I'm 30 through, I think. I'm on chapter 23. Um, and I'm loving the story, really. I am. Um, but yeah, well, let's move you up. Now... I will hold you a bit this way. Um, just know that can I just just move that. So first off, we have a pen holder with all my pens, but that's because I'm a writer as well as a reader. In here, I have most of my bookmarkers, little stamp ones, a charm bracelet that broke, or a wish bracelet. My ring, um, yes, I got this out of my big box and I just use it for my big markers. Then again, I have another cactus eraser, I keep all three of them together, and I have a little eraser that actually sits on them like that. Then Next to that um, is a little pillow. Now this pillow is from The Winx Club. I was obsessed with this cartoon when I was younger. Um, but yeah. I'm sorry if that's too high up. I'm currently trying to get it to level out. Yeah, that'll do. Um, then we have my little Funko Pop of my little... Baroctoraptor and I do love Jurassic World so you will see a couple of Jurassic World figures. Now the books that I have by here I've only read one of them and that is My Heartless by Norris Meyer. So she sits on the bottom just by here. I am wanting to read my plus a stone Ravenclaw house one and my Lady of Magic but I want to get the rest of them first now next to that you can probably see this here um, I have a tub of pins and so on now this pick I'm currently listening to the audiobook on that is the Priory of the Orange Tree, and you can't even see that because it's not in focus of it. So just let me turn you around. There we go. Priory of the Orange Tree by Sarah Holland. I am currently a bit here on it, so I keep that there to mark my place when I'm listening to the audiobook. Now, I do have a flag for I Love Books thing. Next is my Harry Potter collection by here. I do have the original books of these but for when they first came out but I wanted the up to date books um, so Floss Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prison of Azkaban, Goblet Fire, Order of Phoenix, Harper Prince and Deathly House. I have yet to read them. Everyone's hyped about them, they've reread them and all of that but I have yet to read them. 
as you can see in front of my Harry Potters I have all these little animals these are my little pet shops that is not my little pet shop that is my necklace um, and again as I said before you will see another Jurassic World figure from Fungo Pop but these are all my little Lost pet shops. I was a collector. Again, I've got teas from bit boxes. I've got my Google cards. I'm not opening them because it took me a while to set them up. So if we move from the side of my bed over to that bookshelf there, or I can do this little one here. I'll do this little one. So on this bookshelf is more of a TBR-ish kind of thing. So I have my sea fire I'm currently reading. I'm actually going to take that marker out. And I throw a book away. Um let's see that there. I have the Kiss of Deception by E. Mary E. Piercing um books. You're not even facing the bookshelf. Um, then I have Unravel Me, Children of Blood and Bone, Keeper by Kim Chance. I really want to read that one, but I want to get the sequel as well. Then I've got my Shed and Bone series. Behind them I have all of the Julie Kakawa series. So I have their Mortal Rules series. The dragon series, and I've got one of the Iron Daughter. So yeah, I've got a lot of read to be by here. Um, I'm so sorry if my voice is fading. Um, oh, they're not my fucking. So behind these ones, I have my Catherine and Adrian books and a Fallen book by Lauren. Holly, I think it is. No, Lauren Kate, sorry. Um, I don't really have anything else on that shelf that I want to show you. <laughs> the way she's sitting there. But yeah, I will show you my other bookshelf, which is on the other side of my bed, so I need to go over. Oh, yeah! Um, above my bookshelf we have a couple more Harry Potter books, we have the Vault of Artifacts, Artifacts Vault, Cursed Child and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, a couple of collection dolls, Belle, Pocahontas, um, Descendants from, Mal from Descendants. Now on this shelf I will set you about here. Just back a bit. No. Okay, hang on. Let me just. So first off, we have the fairy with all the necklaces on top of her, along with a couple of earrings. Um. Next time I do one of these, I will do it better. Um. I'm just going to turn this back around now. Then we have all the, most of the Throne and Glass series by here. Throne and Glass, so, um, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Emperor Storm and Kingdom of Ash. All by Sarah J Mass. Again with Sarah Holland's big Everless and Evermore. Um, a couple of knickknacks. Um, then I have Cinder, Winter and Scarlet. Yes, I know they're not in order. Um, these are all by Marissa Meyer. Then to the left, to the right of that, we have the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. And then we have my most favourite series of all. That is my Alison Noel 
series, um, they're morals. Now, these books consist of, just let me move all my candles, of Evermore, Blue Moon, Shadowland, Dream, Dark Flame, Night Star, and Everlasting. Now, I just start reading three of these on my Kobo. Then, when I got them again on my Kindle, I started rereading Evermore, and I think I got on your Blue Moon. I'm not too sure on that. But with me already reading them once, I couldn't get back into them. Um, so I'm going to wait for a while before I do actually read these. Um, and these candles are just um, from the book box. So we have the Parabatai Oath. Then we have the Lost Princess, which is basically orange. Oh, and it smells lovely. And then we have a game. Remember, it's only a game from Car from Carvel. How oh, doing? Um, and that one is pretty as well. Then we have my soy cam candle, which is. Meyer Covwer and it's handmade. Again, a couple more books, my games, my perfumes, my sprays. Again, with another bookshelf and another one. And I've got books down there with a couple of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's all for now.